everybody today is january 11th i am here to quickly look at the bees this is the first break in sub freezing <laughs> temperatures in a while today is 46 degrees fahrenheit we've had at least six weeks worth of freezing temperatures and most recently in the last few weeks it's been down into the single digits and teens and so i quickly a couple weeks ago threw on some rigid insulation there. I hadn't meant to insulate them, but it was so cold that I just wanted to throw some on there just to keep them alive. <laughs> I did put some insulation above the inner cover to reduce chances of condensation, but when I read the lows are going to be down in the single digits, I really wanted to give them a little extra warmth. So today's plan is just to quickly go in there, see that they're alive, and slip in some of this fondant. Now this is sugar that I've cooked down and put on paper plates and that's a little bit of an insurance policy. I left a lot of honey for them but just in case they don't have enough honey they have some fondant to nibble on. The last thing we want is a thriving hive to die because they didn't have enough to eat. So today's just a really quick peek. This is the first time I've been in since November. And yep, slip the fondant in there and then just button it back up. Make sure they have some water. I gotta replenish the water there. And yeah, so... As you can see, down here are a lot of dead bees. And in the snow you actually can see where some of them have died. And they've kept the landing board here is clear. That's a good sign. That means they have the energy to keep the house clean. Here's the upper entrance, and if you put your hand in front of it, it is warm. That's a good sign too. That means they're alive. They're alive. They're alive. They're alive. They're alive. Hi, ladies. You see them down there? They're on these three. One, two, three, four frames. They are alive. Yes. I'm placing the fonda in that front corner there. I'm going to give them two plates and I have about one, two, three, four frames of bees and I still see some honey reserves so very happy to see that. So two pots of fondant for the girls. Should keep them busy for a little while. Okay. I'm just going to button them back up. Cover back on. Glad to see that it's not too moist in there. There's not a lot of humidity. The board looks nice and dry. It's good. Just close them up. I have one layer of insulation here. It's again, to reduce. Amounts of humidity. Just added this here for a means of venting. Put this back on. All right. So, so the girls are alive. I am so happy. I am thrilled. Happy, happy, happy. When I first opened it and didn't see any sign of bees, I was pretty shocked because I've been coming out here pretty regularly and checking out the landing board and seeing evidence that the bees are still cleaning house and getting rid of dead bees and so for a second there I was like what <laughs> but they are there I have at least four frames full of bees I still see stored honey so that's great I put two fondant cakes on there just to give them a little bit extra buttoned them right back up made sure the ventilation spot at the top was open. I had to put a little piece of styrofoam on top on those really cold nights, but I removed that and there's no sign of condensation, so that's great. That means the hive is nice and dry. 
and yay, I'm so excited. We just have a couple more months of winter and then we're into spring and yay, then I'll have an overwinter hive. But um, still got a long ways to go, but yeah, great to see the girls, yay. <laughs> I want to do one more thing while I'm out here. I had some equipment that had some drawn out frames. Those are frames that have honeycomb on them and I brought them out here when I knew we were going to get really cold temperatures because cold temperatures are really great at killing any kind of bug. So if I have any wax moth larva or eggs or any hive beetle eggs, the really cold temperature kills them. So that's what I have got going underneath here. I know it doesn't look like it, but so underneath that, so now, these have been sitting out here in the cold weather. D. This is just an empty hive box. And here are the frames. And now that they're nice and chilled, I can put them away for storage. So I can be assured that these don't have any... So I can be assured that there are no larvae in there, and I can give the bees a head start in the spring with these frames. All right, so the point of doing that, you can also do the same thing by putting those frames in your freezer if you have space, but I don't. So just take them outside on a freezing cold day, give them a few days to just chill and get really, really cold and kill any eggs in there. And then you seal them up really tight in plastic totes. Some people use plastic bags, but I've heard that wax moth larvae can actually eat through bags. So yeah, vicious little creatures. So yeah, now I'll button them up in the tote and I'll bring them inside. When spring comes around, I can just introduce these nice clean frames and the little queen can start laying and they can start storing honey and it gives the bees a little head start. <laughs>